Although dodge and burn retouching using curve adjustment layers might be a little bit easier in the execution, when it comes to the retouching products, especially the areas that are quite bright, I would recommend working with the empty layer. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do dodge and burn retouching on the empty layer. As the name says, we need to create new empty layer and I'm going to rename this into dodge and burn and I believe from naming you can already guess that all the work we will be doing on this single layer so how it works of course we have to work with the brush tool I'm going to keep working with the same soft edged brush that I have and for now I will increase the flow so you can see clearly how it works reset the colors by pressing D X to switch and when it comes to the blending mode we have a choice we can work with soft light if we need soft effect and some strong effects would be overlay but I don't think overlay give you accurate results so why uh, soft light because the 50% gray on this layer will be invisible everything that will be brighter than pure gray will brighten up everything that will be having brighter color than gray will be brightening the image and everything that will be darker will be darkening the image so how it looks like uh, for example i'm going to start by showing you how it works as you can see if working white color it's getting brighter dark getting darker so this is the idea behind this of course as we will be uh working carefully i would recommend to keep the flow really low so this way of working is affecting the image a little bit stronger than the curve adjustment layer so i would recommend keeping flow somewhere between one uh, to three percent and then i'm going to turn on this black and white help layer so how to work when we need to um, brighten up the area I'm going to paint with the white color of the brush so I will start with the brightening and as you can see it works quite well we can also see that the changes are very settled with this uh, 3% flow it's because the floor that we work on is uh, really bright so the effect is not so strongly visible but from what I can see, it's uh, getting definitely better. So let's have a look. Small changes. We have much more the, of the darkening to do on this image. And of course, in the areas where we can, as I said, uh, we could probably try to sort some of these areas uh, simply by cloning. As you can see, I'm able to do something with the cloning over here, but it will take some additional time. So the areas that I feel are actually better when doing with cloning, I can do it. For example, over here, we'd have to use small size of the brush to do burning here. So as you can see, uh, this black and white layer is a lot of help for us so don't confuse it it's not the final result but this is just uh, for now for us to to see things a little bit better uh, we can easily see also which stones were actually copied so these things the next to the stones some of the bright areas it's important to pay attention to this so now i'm going back to the dutch and burn and darker color and let's let's cover it let's make it look better as you can see it's it's not easy I'm actually very strongly uh, pressing on my tablet and the change is uh, quite settled I don't really think that we need to make it completely even to make it look good so uh, this is one thing and why I say so it's because the contrast is so strong right now that we see more things that is required to make it look good so once we turn off 
this black and white group with the darkening layers, we won't be able to see any difference. So now, as we do it, I'm making some brightening. So this is how I work. What I'm going to do now, maybe I will uh, speed up this video to do some more things over here and you can see uh, this video in uh, a little bit faster manner so it won't be that boring but you can see uh, it's already a huge difference and when I turn it off the floor looks so much better and overall it looks uh, close to perfect but few more touch-ups are for sure going to do good.